In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Together with Our Lady and Saint Elizabeth, we rejoice not because of the honors given by God, but because of the love for all of us by God. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem, the Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nation, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and Holy One of Israel. Please stand. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as we commemorate today, the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
on this last day of the month of May, we honor her and also her cousin, Elizabeth, whom she visited. Ito pong dalawang babae ay pinararangalan natin, binibigyang pansin, sapagkat sila ay pinili ng Diyos upang maging ina ni Jesus at ni San Juan Bautista. But my dear brothers and sisters, we are also reminded today that they are chosen by God not because God wants to honor them but because God loves them. Ganyan po ang pagpili ng Diyos. Hindi dahil gusto niya tayong parangalan, kundi dahil tayo ay nais niyang mahalin. God chooses not to honor, but to love. Ganyan po pumili ang Diyos. Pinipili niya tayo dahil mahal niya tayo. That is the reality of God choosing Elizabeth and Mary for their particular mission. In our gospel reading today, we see Mary proclaiming her praises to God that she was chosen not because she wants to honor herself, but Mary sings of the love of God for her. Pinili ako ng Diyos, sabi ni Maria, hindi upang parangalan ang aking pangalan, kundi para papurihan ang pangalan ng Diyos sa kanyang dakilang pagmamahal. Which is echoed also in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Daughter Zion, daughter Jerusalem, rejoicing joyfully because of the love given to God for her. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kung sa mundong ito, ang pagpili natin ay laging nakatuon sa pagpaparangal sa tao, iba pumili ang Diyos. Ang Diyos pumipili, hindi para magparangal, kundi dahil mahal niya tayo. That is why this day, we also pray for the Synod on Synodality that will happen this year and in the coming years also when Pope Francis reminds us of synodality in the church na tayo bilang magkakapatid sa simbahan ay pinapaalalahanan na pinili tayo ng Diyos hindi para magkaroon ng kompetisyon sa atin hindi dahil sa karangalan kundi dahil sa Pagmamahal. And when we are reminded that God chooses us because of love, then there will be no competition among us. There will be no quarrel and division among us. Because in God, we are chosen not out of honor, but out of love. Kaya nga nung nagkita si Maria at si Elizabeth, hindi sila nag-compare sa isa't isa. Walang competition. Both of them honored each other, recognized one another, not because of their own merit, but because of the love given to them by God. My dear brothers and sisters, the Feast of the Visitation teaches us that being chosen by God is not to be honored, but to be loved. Sana mga kapatid, mapaalalahanan tayo ngayon 
na pinipili tayo ng Diyos, hindi upang parangalan tayo, kundi upang mahalin tayo. Amen. Please stand. Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord. But Mary only wished to share her joy. As we rejoice in this feast day, let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished these chosen women. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may fully open its heart to God's Word and proclaim it with joy to all peoples and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may devise programs for building a better world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the inspiration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may intensify our efforts in creating a better social order. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you put down the mighty and raise up the humble. Aided by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our hopes to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May our offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness 
as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
discern my purpose from afar, and with love everlasting you beseech me in every moment of life or death you are before on my tongue, Lord, you have known its meaning true and true. You are with me beyond my understanding, God of my present, my past, and the future too. upon me, still I search for shelter from your mind. There is nowhere on earth I can escape you, even the darkness is radiant in your sight. For you Please stand. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist leaped with joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. We invite everyone this afternoon as we join the whole world in our Marian prayer for the Synod on Synodality that will be happening these uh, coming months. It will be led by all the shrines and basilicas dedicated to Our Lady in the whole world. And in communion with this uh, event, the Manila Cathedral will also join by praying the rosary this afternoon at 5.30 p.m. And after the rosary at 6 p.m., we will be having a Eucharistic celebration to be presided by our new Vice Rector, Father Viel Bautista. So we invite everyone to join us and also for those who may also be joining us 
through the online broadcast of the praying of the Rosary and the Holy Mass in honor of Our Lady. Tomorrow also at 12.10 p.m., the lunchtime Mass, we will be uh, welcoming the community of the Parokya ng Ina ng Laging Saklolo in Punta Santa Ana, Manila as we welcome and bless their new image of Our Lady. Uh, their parish is dedicated to Ina ng Laging Saklolo and the Manila Cathedral has gifted them with this new image and their parish priest together with their parish community will be visiting the Manila Cathedral tomorrow during the 12.10 p.m. Mass. We also invite you to join us in this celebration. Our healing rosary this evening will be hosted by the community of St. Andrew the Apostle Parish in Norzagaray, Bulacan. Let us now all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, so